Yep, it's going down. Cool. Hey guys, this is Just Think Big, Grow Up and Going Green. We made our first co op mother deep water culture, recir recirculating deep water culture uh, system. We're going to have eight different strains, all fed by this reservoir with all the nutrients in it. Um, pumped up through here into like a 12 head um, disperser, if you will. The ones that are not used are being put back into the reservoir. The other ones are distributed to drip into each one of the uh, clones here that have rooted aeroponically and then just put uh, in hydrotin and, uh, and set up. Here we have about one of the nicest pumps you can get, uh, pumping a lot of air through a single cord to a splitter and then um, over here to a four or excuse me a six-way splitter to another six-way splitter. The ends are turned off and then it feeds four uh, each of the buckets here. Now here, um, the bottom of the reservoir is, this is the height of the water uh, that will be in all the buckets. So it comes out through here. These are on disconnectors, so we can turn this off and disconnect the buckets and move them around uh, if we need to. Uh, again, this is just a, a drip head here, dripping down onto the hydrotin into about, the uh, About roots. one to two gallons per hour. One to, do, one to two gallons per hour, Grub says. And yeah, every bucket has disconnects. And here we got end ones, and these are just on stoppers. And if we were to open this up, water would come out. And this is so we can add more if we want. And here you can see an empty bucket. Air stone in each one of the buckets. Uh, to feed uh, feed the roots oxygen. Anything else, you guys? Uh, leave anything else? Oh. No. The humidity inside the root zone is important. The humid. Yeah. Come on, talking. The humidity inside the root zone, which is inside those buckets, is important as well as cold water. You want to make sure your your water is always cold. If it's not cold. Uh, think about a chiller or think about getting your room temperatures down and uh, make sure that water temps are always under 73. Um, it's just the roots don't like anything hotter than that. You'll get fungus. And uh, Can you throw ice in the reservoir here? You can throw ice in the reservoir, try to use pH water, but you also want to do, uh, the best thing to do is frozen bottle water, uh, big two gallon jugs, you freeze them and then just throw them in the res. If, and that's if your water is too, too hot, but generally you're okay as long as your room temperatures stay okay. About the, the connectors. You ever hit on that? Yeah, hit on the connectors. Uh, we'll probably end up uh, moving this reservoir over here a little bit more and just shifting, uh, drilling another hole so we can run maybe a third uh, or maybe a fourth if you wanted to. Um, power cord ran through the water from the pump up and out. We're going to cover this to make sure no light gets inside of the reservoir because mildew uh, will um, uh, start to develop because of the light and the nutrients and the temperatures. Same with all these. No light. That's why they're dark, thick, black. These were all purchased at a gross, gross store. And uh, the whole setup here cost uh, about $600. Um, and is that with the discount? Um, it was about $550 with a discount. 20% discount. Um, yeah. How big is the, uh, how much does this uh, air pump pump? 88 liters an hour. 88 liters an hour of air, this thing will pump, so uh, more than enough to, uh, to feed these uh, oxygenators in the bottom of these buckets here. We got a roll fresh at home. Okay, well, we're out of here. And uh, if you have any questions, hit us up on Budbook, and uh, we'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Take it easy, guys. Bye.